welcome to the instructional video for the legacy storytelling method specifically for 52 weeks of storytelling so if you're watching this video hopefully you have checked out another video in the 52 weeks of storytelling video series and you're like gail i need more information and i need to know more about what you're talking about so that's what this video is all about feel free to skip around as always as needed pause write things down and yeah so here we go the legacy storytelling method is the storytelling method i came up with a couple of years ago Ago, number of years ago now um, to help me personally um, write my own story and work through some grief things and uh, it was really how I processed what was going on in my life at the time and what I realized from doing that and from doing it with um, my children and a few other friends was that this really could help a lot of people and so here we are today <laughs> a few years later this this legacy storytelling method is just how I approach um, really the beginnings of an interview. So these are the basis of interview questions that I use when I'm interviewing um, people for journalism stories or for biopics or biographies or autobiographies. And they're the, that's the core of how I approach storytelling. So with that's a little bit of context so that you understand where it came from. And we'll jump into exactly what it is. We start with the five W's. Um, and they are what just like what we did um, if you're in the US in first grade, um, first grade writing. We have who, what, when, where, and why in that order. I always start with who because I think people often remember who they're with more often, um, most likely. They're going to remember that first before they will remember where they were or when, what time, you know, what year it was. So for who, it could be who they were with when a moment happened. It could be who they shared that moment with the first time. If it was a recipe, then it's who they shared, you know, who shared that recipe with them. Who did they share that recipe with? Um, who did they make it with last? So those are different levels of who. So there's also different levels of what, there's different levels of when, and different levels of where, just depending on the type of memory and when you're actually talking to this person. Then the next thing they really will remember is the what. So what was happening, that's what the what is. Um, well, the when, obviously, is when it was happening. <laughs> The why is usually where people get tripped up the most. For me, I think of why as why did this moment happen? Why did this memory get passed down? What, um, or why did this recipe get passed down? What was happening that caused this thing to happen? Um, which really gives people, they, it's really where people start to fill in gaps. Um, often people may need to reach out and ask for help. Um, especially if their memory recollection isn't as great, there might be someone else in their life um, that can help fill in some gaps. So the last three questions, give or take a few, um, are what I call the digging deeper questions. And these questions are focused on emotion and impact and what they want people to remember about this moment. So it's usually, um, how does this moment make you feel? How did it make you feel then? How do you feel about it now? Um, why is this moment important to you? And then the last question is, what do you want people to remember about this moment? And this last question is really where people tend to dig in and hence the digging deeper, um, digging and, and really reflect about this moment in their lives, this story, this recipe, this photograph, whatever the thing is they're um, talking about with you. Um, and so answering this question and asking them this question gives them a chance to think about the memory as a whole, the moment as a whole and come up with that one piece that will for essentially bottom line their story as you know maybe it's a piece of advice or maybe it's something that they learned in that moment um and the reason i think this storytelling method is so impactful um humble brag <laughs> is that when we ask the questions in this way it sort of warms people up it helps them um with some we build rapport with them and when you ask that final question, they're able to, they, they can answer that much more easily than if you had asked, what's the best advice you'd like to leave for your family? They're going to have a much harder time answering that question than they will answering, you know, the five W's and then building up to that really big question. So that is the explanation on the legacy storytelling method. Be sure to check out the videos in the 52 weeks of storytelling video series. There are a ton of other videos um, on the YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out the website yet, it's www.thelegacyrecorder.com. That has a hundreds of pages of prompts and 
conversation starters to use. There is a printed journal, uh, a couple of printed journals that you can grab off of Amazon, um, and then also PDFs that are printable on Etsy. There's activity kits, there's uh, memory act storytelling activity kit, plus the journals themselves you can also print as a PDF. So those are the resources that are floating around. There's a couple of courses. If you um, are interested in those, go check those out. Um, I'd love to have any questions, if comments, suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And I absolutely come back and I check those in reply. So I hope you have an incredibly wonderful day. And until I see you again, happy writing.